Uh, so, mm -hmm. on paper, this matchup feels really hard for Robin, just because, you know, Robin's super slow, doesn't have a lot of fast hitboxes, doesn't have a good time with smothery characters. But I actually think that Enharmonia won't have too tough of a time here, at least. Like, I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout by either one. I think it'll be pretty even throughout. Right. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. Um, what's really going to come down to is uh, how much, like, how well can Enharmonia manage their space? I mean, obviously, one of the better Robins, so they know how to how to do that. And it comes down to, as soon as they're able to get, like, you know, that the uh, Arc Fire, or maybe um, the Arc Thunder, or, uh, or L Thunder, I mean, can they convert off of it? Can they find their hits? Uh, can they find a way to just really punish Bayonetta for doing some of these laggy options, like the heel slide? Yeah, and we saw an example of it there a couple of seconds ago, and we're seeing an example of it right now with the use of Nosferatu. Um, I really like that use of Nosferatu to catch Frog, like you said, out of the laggy option. It's going to be fine. Elwyn does a great job of bringing you back from just about any distance off stage. Looking Ooh. for the up tilt bear F smash, not going to connect. That was very dangerous for Enharmonia if it did, but speaking of dangerous, yeah, one of the hardest hitting tools in the entire game. And that being Levin Sword, that Levin Up Air, I'm going to do a great job of finishing off Frog Ooh. right then and there. And Did you see it, Frog? Yeah, yeah. Frog was going to land on the shield, and then that book, that book, <laughs> just coming out knowledge, just de defeating Bayonetta alone. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> the. <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that, but yeah, the book just popped up and kind of did a weird thing because it wasn't really beneficial to N and it wasn't even really beneficial to Frog. It just kind of forced them to disengage. Speaking of forced disengagements, there's that big old disjoint of an up smash. I'm going to boot him right into the blast zone. Now we're even, at least in terms of stocks, but right now Enharmonia has oh, a man. huge advantage. Yeah, N's really good at this. You know, again, managing that space, using the uh, the Levin Sword to really put some devastating hits down. Right there, going to be able to clean up that stock. Frog is in trouble here. Down, that's basically a whole stock. And there we yeah, go. Well, now percentages uh, kind of taking it, uh, coming into play here. Oh, wait, we got a little bit of the rinse cycle coming out. Full stock up, and Enharmonia has so much to play with. Um, he's got, like, he just got Levin Sword back. He's got almost full resources in terms of Arc Fire and Thunder. Um, but like, I, I'm not fearing for enemy. Actually, right there, that's something that I didn't consider until right now, is Bayo's ability to, uh, to use Bat Within against Arcfire. That could be very helpful. But it actually seems that so far throughout this set, most of Enharmonian's biggest setups, and a great F smash from Frog there, most of Enharmonia's biggest setups haven't come from Arcfire like you would expect from Robin. They just come from, like, right. raw reads. Well, I think part of that has, comes down to the fact that you do need to kind of dial back the arc fires a little bit because you got to keep in mind, Bayonetta has Witch Time on the table. At any point in time, could just basically negate it entirely. And not just that, but if Robin's too close, it could be a huge punish. So we'll have to see, uh, you know, again, how N's playing around it. So far, doing really well and getting some great punishes, getting some hard reads. So, yeah, doing okay so far. No, 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 106%. Uh, Frog is just one uh, Eleven Sword up air or maybe like an Arc Fire up smash away from death. Uh, oh. And there it is. Speak of the devil. For the forward air. Jeez. For the fair. Can you, do you remember when they buffed it? They yeah. buffed Robin's like aerials. I think like Nair specifically. Nair's like such a good move with Eleven Sword now. It's insane. But yeah, good stuff from Enharmonia. Uh, taking game one pretty strongly. Frog had some good, some good options, some good, uh, some good openings that they took advantage of pretty well, but N still going to find a way to close that out. So great stuff to N. Yeah, right now, going up 1-0 in the set, that's actually huge. I know N Harmonia earlier in the chat was talking about needing to go do their homework. So uh, <laughs> maybe they're just trying to trying to speed run it. And yeah, N Harmonia is correct that Nair got buffed from thir frame 13 to frame 9. So it got a little bit of a speed increase. The one thing that I do want to mention real quick that a lot of people forget about is that Robin's Nair outranges just about every character in the game. There are a few moves that beat it, like, for example, Bayo F Smash, or maybe, like, uh, Mega Man's Lemons, right? Like, moves like right. that will beat it. But in terms of, like, even Sonic's F Smash, uh, Levin Nair will outrange it, and it's actually kind of insane to think about. Right. Ooh, kind of a tough spot. Okay, taking 40%. You know, that's just something you have, kind of have to take into consideration with Bayonetta sometimes. You're just going to take 40%, 30 you know, 50%. It, it just happens. And then you just got to find a way to just outplay it from there. And uh, so far, come on, taking another 30 <laughs> against their will. Oh, my God. 
80% really taken against your will. Good wave bounce with the neutral B there. It's not quite going to be enough to kill. And Armonia is still holding onto the stock despite the down air. Now in a position to actually get a little bit of damage going, especially with Frog dash attacking right onto the shield. Mm hmm. I'm caught by that landing Nair, but I really like the use of Neutral B here just to create space. Going to try and land in a good air dodge? Oh, and he's going to land with no Sriracha too around that. Yeah, dude, Frog was actually trying really hard there just to get those up tilts going. Like, throughout like 17 of them. Uh, finally got one, got a little bit of something out of it, but end back in control here. Going for a couple down smashes themselves. Both these guys just throwing all these moves out. <laughs> Spaghetti all over the floor, Skiff. Both of them won it, and neither of them are going to let the other have it. Good dash attack from Enharmony to give himself stage control. The frog's in a position to take this stock with the next big hit. It's actually Good. going to be 11 down smash. Beautiful Good use final. of the move, yeah. Yeah, no, and should just be, uh, like, because Frog threw out that up tilt I don't know how many damn times. So it's about time that they actually so, just got a hit out there, taking a whole stock, you know, just for, Frog's just for a good punish. Let's get Frog's in a lot of trouble here. Yes. Um, going to get the going to get the kill there with that back air, but that's one of Bayonetta's biggest flaws is she can kill, but only when within certain ranges. Once your opponent, like, gets upwards of, like, 150, 160, Bear and some smash attacks are basically going to be your only options to kill. Nothing right. else you're going to do is going to work on them. So good on Frog for getting that back air off. But they've got to be real careful about what percents they're letting an Armonia get to outside of their combo range. Right, right, right. And not even just that, but like they do have a, uh, a a grab. I think forward throw can kill at some percentages as well. So forward if you're able to put your opponent... like 180 for Robin. It, it, it... For Robin? I'm talking about... Um, I'm no, talking I'm talking about all on Robin is what I meant to say. Yeah, I think I might be able to kill a little bit earlier, but regardless, a fourth throw is, is decent. It's a decent option. I'm not saying it's great, but it's still something else that they have. <laughs> Do you see that, how many times yeah, they yeah. tried the witch time? It? We, we both oh. were calling that out. The witch time startup frames happened like three times there within that arc fire, and none of them worked out. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Gonna get a nice little nair there. Very quick, very strong. Putting on some good damage. 45% so far. That forward smash actually just negated the uh, the thrown Levin sword. So I guess that's mm -hmm. a, a use for the forward smash now. <laughs> going to get the witch time, but it's not going to matter. Fro uh, Frog is just too far away to capitalize on it. So Enharmonia is going to be able to get the shield out and continue living at least a little bit longer. But Frog is going way off stage here for this kill, but it's <laughs> not going to matter because hey. Frog is actually going to go down with the ship. Maybe not realizing that Enharmonia was a stock up. Just Listen. wanting to get the game over with, but that's going to be Enharmonia going up 2-0. I think you know what I'm about to say right now. I Yeah, go ahead and say it. <laughs> go ahead. I know. We got we got a Bayonetta set for real now. <laughs> it's not a Bayo set without an SD. <laughs> Look, I say it, I say it like kind of it's as a joke, true. but like it happens almost every set. The only time, the only time I never see like a Bayonetta, like SD, like they, they definitely do not take a game. They don't take the set. Like You have to SD once. It allows you to unlock your full Bayonetta potential. Yeah, no, uh, SDing is critical on the path of success with Bayonetta. The only Bayos that I, I've seen like take sets without SDs are like Samsora's a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Um, but now, going into game three, they're still going to be sticking to this PS2 pick, and that was funny. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, you gotta do something, right? Get a little bit of that, uh, get a little bit of that sauce going out there. Oh, going way out there trying to get something going. He's gonna be able to make it back. Yep. Good check. Ooh. Ooh, I thought... the witch twist, yeah, the witch twist clanked with Elwin, but that was looking dangerous. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the spike properties are on that exactly, but uh, it could have been bad. I don't. I certainly don't. Uh, good up or good neutral B to at least force Frog into shield so that he had the free recovery back to stage. Now in a position to uh, get the stock soon is Frog. Mm -hmm. This will be a definite huge difference in how the rest of the set's been going. And there it is, Skiff. <laughs> oh Skiff. my God. Skiff. I'm not, I don't have to uh, say it. We already saw the SD earlier. No, say it again. Say it again. No, but they got the stock right back with the up smash. So good stuff. It's, uh, we're two minutes in, two stocks. Uh, we're going to have to see if Frog can find a way to make a comeback here because right now, man, it is not looking pretty. They've been going for some crazy stuff, and it's really not working out for them. Frog betters are in shambles right now. Those channel points, because, you know, we only bet with channel points here, right? Those right. channel points are going right down the drain. 
63% on it, but it's going to get a good use of the Witch Time to at least get in and get that jab. And now, taking him for a ride. Spin Cycle going through with the Witch Twists and the... Uh, but Enharmonia is going to be able to set foot on the ground, and that's when the danger begins, because Levin Sword, we've seen it time and time again, it packs a hell of a punch. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought um, Enharmonia was going to die there for a second. Uh, I thought maybe they lost their jump, in that, or maybe they had run out of Elwind. They just went a little too low for, uh, for my liking. I was definitely a little bit uncomfortable. But uh, nope, they're still alive, still kicking. It's just a matter of getting onto the stage and finding a way to put some more pressure on the frog. Because, like, while frog is technically behind a percentage, they're not in a bad spot, but almost dying right there to the back here. Who are you to question how low Enharmonia goes? It's, it's simple. <laughs> I mean, you are oh. the commentator. but I am the commentator. The <laughs> that could have been disastrous if Levin Sword was on the board. It wasn't going to be at that point. F throw off the stage, going to set him up with stage control. That up smash, Dude. not going to hit the good spot, so not going to get the kill. Robin up smash is actually pretty disgusting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it lingers for hours. Right. But we're going to see that back air once again, this time finally taking the stock away from Frog. Take it 29% on that Arc Thunder, man. That thing is ridiculous. Now Ooh, we're down. Yep. approaching. Yeah, not going to be able to get the kill with the, uh, with the off the top shenanigans and now we're in the area where only stuff like an up smash will kill but an up smash indeed will do the job that's two up smashes two stocks for frog right now uh, we're gonna see if they can find a way to just be a bit more consistent here find a way to have something more reliable this is a good opening this could be something getting a couple of those kicks back here just to put them off stage 70 percent pretty solid stuff oh boy whoa this is dangerous and that's gonna be the game for sure and harmonia dropping that to frog's beautiful combo man that was a hell of a start skiff i would like to point something out the game that frog sd'd in frog just won it mm -hmm. so maybe, well i told you i told you man it, no it, maybe it really is just an absolute necessity bayos can't play the game without it sd'ing is. at least once Look, this is how it is, right? You SD once, you unlock your full power. You SD twice, you double that power. And as you can see, SD Frog... SD three times? <laughs> SD three times? It just continues to build up. You just gotta get... Listen. Now, let's imagine if that was a mechanic, right? If you just drop the stock and you just double your power... You just double That's your power. That's Lucario. That's no, it's not, it's, not quite, it's not quite Lucario. It's not quite... No, I have, I have legitimately... So, in doubles... Lucario's aura is taken like it's based on the total stock pool of the opposition. I'm not I've talking about having aura. I'm talking understand. about everything. Everything in your in your move set just doubles in power. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Imagine if I've that was literally a thing. seen Lucario start off a double set by SD. Quite down. So anyway, no, uh, <laughs> I'm a commentator. I can't. It's not my job. Yeah, well, I wish. But uh, you know what? Hey, it's, it, it is what it is. But oh, come! Oh, three forward airs. The third one gonna get uh, bats within. But that's okay, man. That's a that's a nice little start. You know, that's actually a good point. How do you say that? It's going to get bat within it. I said bat within. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the best way. It's going it's going to get countered by the bat within. How's that? Anyway, so uh, <laughs> we're trying to see if Anna Morty can find a way back. Tough spot to be in. Gonna be able to get back to the ledge. Ooh, that's a with. big opening! Oh, he, he looked for the ladder, but he just can't get the ladder against Bayo mm -hmm. because Bayo has too many tools to avoid it. Right. Good Ooh, parry. Very good parry. That was actually huge. And right now, man, it looks like... Oh, oh I don't think he was ready for the, the air dodge out. And gonna take the stock. Frog is on the board. I told you, two SDs it triples your power, man! It was doubles your power. You're changing your story on me, Skiff. No, I said you, the first SD, you double your power. Oh, that's right. It doubles your power. Yeah. We're not going to triple it. Why not? Okay. <laughs> okay, triple here your we power. Are. Here we are. <laughs> your power. I was, I was so sorry. I was, I was ahead of the script. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I saw someone in chat literally say SD incoming before it even happened. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, shout out <laughs> to Adrian because they called it. Yeah, they did call it. All right, well, here we go. We're going to see if Enharmonia can stop this uh, this absolute bloodbath. This, this titan of <laughs> power. This is full monstrosity of 3SD Frog. <laughs> looking okay. for the dash. Oh, looking for the run-up grab. I actually expected a dash attack there, which is why I called it out a little bit early. Frog looking to take him off the top. Not quite going to find it. Now comes the arc fire to cover his return back to stage. Now... Both of them just chilling in shield. Oh but it's going my to be Enharmonia that takes the first swing. 
Dude, Going that back air that back on air. Levin Sword is way it's too war crime. fucking gross. It, it, <laughs> I don't know if I call it a war crime. There's other moves I would call a war it's, crime before no, that. They're, they're at the end of like at the end of Smash Ultimate's competitive lifespan, there is going to be a trial. And moves like Levin Backsword will be condemned listen, for the Listen, Listen, I will definitely consider it maybe like a felony, right? Or a uh, or a, some sort of minor crime, yeah, but I would not call it a against, war crime. That thing is against the Geneva Convention, and you can't convince me otherwise. Yes, I can. It's not that ridiculous. <laughs> in any case, though, and Harmonia going to be taking a moment to chill themselves out on ledge before coming oh. back in a beautiful dare from Frog to set up a potentially awful situation for N. But it's not quite going to work out the way that they were hoping. Yeah, no, right now, Frog has got a nice little opening. Uh -oh. Are they gonna, they're gonna, oh my god, we're going into a game five. This is absolutely ridiculous. I told you, man, triple your power. Every time you SD, it adds more to your power, and Frog is showing us that that is 100% the case. Bayo mains, hear me out. At the beginning of every set, just drop a game. Like, no, 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 game you one. can't do it like that. You can't do it like that. That gets rid of it. It gets rid of the the, the juice, the, the flow, all right? It doesn't feel genuine. It has to be a genuine SD. That, honestly, also, the DI on that final combo looked kind of like I have homework due in 20 minutes DI. Um, But that could also just be, you know, Bayo is not a super common character, so not a ton of people know the optimal di or sdi on most of those combos i think at that point it'd probably just be down and in because i know normally with that type of move you just want to do down like when you're at the top last zone so probably just a down and in type deal right mm -hmm. uh, i think that's correct i could be wrong though so take it with a grain of salt know. there's a reason why I'm, I'm behind the mic and not in the tournament that's that's true <laughs> that's, that's all i'm gonna say but Starting off this game, much as we started the previous one with N Harmonia just crouching in place. Or not N Harmonia, Frog just crouching in place and N Harmonia throwing stuff at him. Mid set right, coaching? Well. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Uh, Bane is not making it back, right? Oh. <laughs> no. The day, that's, that's strong. Right, that's strong Frog power. Win. Let's get Frog just won the set. Probably, yeah. That means I'm just losing 13,000 channel points. Look at him go! No, I'm going to live that one. But the next one, they will not be so lucky. We're going to see if Enermonia can find a way to really turn this around. Frog is really turning it up now, huh? It's the SDs. There weren't enough earlier. There it is. There they, no, they're not there making they it back, right? Oh, they made it back on that one. Jeez, we're going <laughs> to... Frog is single-handedly keeping Bayonetta from being buffed. <laughs> Are no. any of her moves being fixed? It's uh, it's Frog plus the Mighty Dialga because I've seen Dialga do some ridiculous stuff with this character too. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh. But in this case, it's it's looking like all Frog all the way, looking for the secondary Witch Twist to catch off stage. Not quite going to do it. Actually, the Bat Within. Putting them right back into the hitbox. Did you see that? Yeah, I mean, that doesn't, doesn't happen. Uh-oh. We're going to see if N can... I, I think N could definitely find a way to turn this around, man. Uh, it's possible. I'm, but I'm going to say it's not probable. It's the way that Frog has been playing these last three games, looking for this reverse 3-0 sweep. It's, it's not looking great for our hero. Listen, all I'm saying is N better figure this out because I put 13,000 channel points on there and I will hold this above their head. All I'm saying is that you're about to be poor, Skiff, because I bet on I bet on Frog. <laughs> well, here we go, man. Can see possibly today, find a stock right here. Speaking of channel points, today I uh, for CS:GO I bet over 200,000 channel points on Liquid versus uh, VP, and I lost. Ah, oh, that sucks. Get good. <laughs> yeah. There oh, we go on the board. Air. So 44% is a good enough spot here for end to kind of stage a good comeback but i mean we, the way we've been seeing frog play not only the last two games but the first two stocks in this game right here uh could be a lot of trouble a lot of trouble for end going on and moving forward here we've seen a lot of stocks and we've seen a lot of sds but at the end it's all going to come down to this last one only 26 or 24 percent excuse me separating the two and that is rapidly shrinking it's it's really going to be up to whoever gets the next big opening because both of these characters are capable of killing right now. 
Ooh, oh, tried to get the uh, little bit of a combo extension there using the book. Levin Sword on deck here. Frog has got to be careful, got to be aware of the situation. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that shield was looking, that shield was looking mighty small. A shield break to close this out would be rather poetic. It's not quite going to happen yet. Getting put through their paces with the side bees. No up tilt to speak of quite yet. Gonna get the grab F throw, Ooh. and this could be curtains. No oh tech my god! No! All of my points, Ermonia! But hey, good stuff, the frogs. Uh, hey, really turning it around, getting the reverse 3 0. Hey, Skip.